This is Christine from Shortcut to Happiness at the Conscious Life Expo 2020. We are here with Amber Baker. I'm an energy healer. I do pranic healing. I also do Akashic Record readings. Thank you for all that you do and helping people in every way that you do. You have a wealth of knowledge. Based on the combo of stuff that you're offering and that you have, so I want your opinion. What do you think is the key or the secret to happiness? Happiness for me is probably when I'm in my creative flow, when I feel inspired, when my energy is balanced and I'm in a, a centered state within myself and I am able to, to give and to receive. So most people cannot receive, so I think that is a really important subject. How can people learn to receive? Sometimes when you can't receive, there might be a, a blockage in your heart. You might feel um, some sort of fear or trauma that you had that's stopping you from receiving love or from receiving energy and connecting with other people. The connection to other people too. There's a lot of energy going on. What do you do with your work to clean up that energy and magnify it for people? Well, pranic healing is all about cleaning the aura, cleaning the chakras, putting people back into a balanced state so that they can be aligned more with their truest self. Did I answer your question? Yes. <laughs> and also, how did you get started? Oh, that's a really interesting story. Um, I've always been highly intuitive, but a couple of years ago, I was struggling with a severe health issue. I had um, a bout of asthma that put me in the hospital, and one night when I could barely breathe, um, Archangel Michael, Mother Mary, and my grandmother came to me who had passed. And they did a transformative healing on my body. Um, they breathed their energy into me and my whole chest that was constricted completely opened. And they channeled messages of love, um, told me that I was holding back. I was believing all the limited thoughts that people put on me, all the projections of anything negative. I was defining myself by that. And I realized what they told me was, we, we are not the thoughts that people tell you. We are not the labels that people put on you. Um, they were able to free, my, free me and help me realize that my path is to be a healer. So it started, maybe that was really what pushed me into this field. That is really beautiful, really beautiful. And there have been several people that have had a transformation during a quiet time, actually, and there's just so much out there for us to learn. Did you already know about other souls or Angel Michael before that time? Well, I've had a lot of spirit visitations in my life, and a lot of times it would scare me, and I wasn't really ready to receive that or to channel but that experience really helped push me to open my gift, open my mind, accept it, and to connect more with the angels and with my spirit guides. And since then, I've had amazing experiences with spirit guides coming to me. Um, just so many synchronistic things have happened. I mean, I know that I'm on the right path, and I'm embracing it, and I, I just love it. I want to help people. And I use the pranic healing on myself all the time. Wow, that's nice that you can do it on yourself because a lot of, you know, dualities, you cannot do it on yourself as well. Nice. And also, as you said, we have to be ready to experience anything. And that's a lot easier said than done. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. So we're actually going to do something special this time. She's going to give me a healing session. Can you basically describe what that is? Okay, so for my healing sessions, um, I connect with the divine source energy, 
and I use first I first I scan my clients and I see where their energy bodies are, where any blockages are, if there's any negative attachments, negative entities, cords, negative cords, which is maybe someone else that's projecting negativity on you or you thinking something negative about a person and it creates a cord. So I'm able to cut the cords, clear the negative entities, clean your aura, clean your chakras, and then infuse back into your body the life force energy. Um, I use color, I use um, my crystal, and I, you know, color has, de like, um, elect there's an electric violet frequency that you use that has divine intelligence, and I use that a lot to put back into the body. Excellent. It's my favorite wall color, <laughs> you know, in my home. So this is just a sample. When you go to some of these conscious expos of healers and being willing to try them and give yourself a break with what might be happening to you. This is Christine with Shortcut the Happiness. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon, including our healing session following directly after this video. I enjoy being with you.